walk along the city streets you used to walk along with me And every step I take reminds me of just how So cute. Ralph Lauren did this little like merch collection for Wimbledon. Hi vlog. We are about, oh, I don't even think you can see me. Hmm. We're about to head out for day two of Wimbledon. Um, Tommy's match is soon. The car is about to be here. Olivia and I this morning just got a coffee at Gail's, went into Wimbledon Village and walked around, did literally the same thing that we did yesterday. Just got dressed, wearing a little dress today from the bar. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, we're just gonna head to the site. Kind of the same thing as always. While I'm waiting for my car, I'll show you guys my full outfit. It's really cute. Okay, transport just grabbed us now. We're on the way. Olivia's wearing a cute little outfit. <laughs> Just got back from the site. Literally still have my credential on. We're gonna do a little barbecue tonight, like a little cookout. So that should be fun. I haven't been vlogging that much like after the matches and then we have the day off tomorrow. So I think Olivia and I are gonna go like shopping and going to London. I'm gonna take off my makeup and like get into cozy clothes. I'm gonna help with dinner. Just quickly hopping on a meeting and then I'm gonna cook. Hi. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you guys. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much for meeting tonight. Sorry, I'm, I'm like in bed. So, um, so yeah, so excited to learn about what you guys have, what projects you guys have in store and in the future. Frango, that was the best sausage I've ever had. Wow. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> Paige, don't believe everything Tommy and, and <laughs> Seba say, please. Uno, dos. Qué lindo que tengo un video haciendo hamburguesa. Me muero, yo no le puedo. Stop it. Look, that all pretty for you. Yo, Franco needs to stop drinking, like, ASAP. Oh. Franco, thank you so much for cooking up tonight, man. You're welcome, Thomas. You killed the potatoes. Yeah. Thomas, it's good for breakfast. First night I've seen in my whole career. Hey, good morning vlog. I think Olivia and I are gonna go into London today. So yeah, we're gonna go into London and we're gonna go get a coffee first. Same place we've been going to every day. We're gonna go with our friend Emma. Emma is dating another American tennis player, JJ. So we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go shopping. The weather here has been very 
up and down. It's been raining a lot. A lot of the matches have been delayed and moved, which during grass court season apparently is very common. But it's like actually really sunny today and it feels so good. We're all just hanging out outside. It's really nice. But I'm very, very excited to go get a coffee. Um, all right, heading out. I changed back into my PJ bottoms. They're so comfy. And I actually think that they're fine to wear in public. Maybe they're not, but... Okay guys, trying on this dress from Stodd. I actually saw it online, it like really needs to be ironed. I saw it online and I thought it was really cute, but I don't know. Okay, we just got back from shopping. I did buy a few things. Like my makeup's like coming off my face. I'm always so torn on whether or not I should do hauls. Whenever I do shop, I never show it on my TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. Like I really don't. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's a little bit like distasteful to buy nice things and then shove them in people's faces. Because I also feel like the stuff that I do purchase that's expensive is not because it's designer. It's because I think it's really beautiful. Um, this purchase was probably the biggest purchase of the day which are these Miu Miu shoes they are so beautiful I've actually been like looking at them for quite a bit now I also have like a rule with myself that if I see something that's a luxury item I'll wait like months I'll make sure that I like am still thinking about it and with these shoes I was another rule that I have with myself is that if I wouldn't buy it like would I buy this item if it wasn't designer I think that's really important when shopping like say you removed the tag or like the label from this piece would you still buy it and these shoes if they were $20 I would still buy them they're these gorgeous Miu Miu little kitten heels with like a little floret on it they're really short heels um, so I thought they would be perfect for matches and I just think that they're like gorgeous and I think they would look really good with a dress and with denim so yeah that's one thing that i got we were shopping today at a department store called harrods which is this huge department store in london it's literally like a maze um it's one of the nicest department stores that i've ever been to so i bought this shirt from alessandra rich that was really really pretty and then i got a little silk headband from dior oh, so cute um, but I got this headband that I'm actually gonna wear tomorrow to the match. It's this really pretty silk Headband, I don't think I would wear it with the Dior out again I think this is so pretty and I would wear this even if it was not from Dior So I'm really excited about that And then I went to Lueve And got this gorgeous sweater guys. You're gonna die this gorgeous sweater it's like light blue and so pretty and like thoughtfully made i just thought it was so unique and gorgeous i don't own anything from this brand and it's a very popular brand now i think it's a parisian brand they make really cool stuff and i used to think it was called lowe's like the home improvement store in america um and it's not called lowe's i think oh i bought a candle from them with some credit I had on forward and I did a haul on my TikTok this fall and I was like, yeah, this Lowe's candle and everyone was like So we finally figured out what how to say that Um, but yeah, that's what I got today. I really wish I went to Sephora But yeah, I think we're gonna head to this site now and I want to just like go get like a hat and a sweatshirt for my parents Um, and just like hang out at the site I just want to like enjoy it here because you obviously you never know how long Um, you're gonna be at a tournament for um, but I just want to like enjoy Wimbledon only once a year so i think we're gonna go to the site i also might get some footage of the site for my vlog i have some strawberries and then cook dinner tonight and then his match is tomorrow okay we're just heading to the site now i like want strawberries oh really badly yeah really badly i want a coffee but that did not make me feel good this morning made you anxious i was jitters um, hey, can you keep it down over there you're really loud <laughs> 
<laughs> in the vlog so far you guys have probably already seen the strawberries that are at Wimbledon it's like a famous tradition strawberries and cream and it is so good Olivia apparently they pick them every morning fresh yeah they're the best strawberries ever. I've ever had yeah they're really good they're really really I was good Good morning vlog. Okay, I'm currently about to attempt to maybe cut this dress. I know that probably seems crazy. This dress is really pretty. It was not very expensive and I just really don't want to wear a long dress today. I'm debating on trying to cut it. This is either going to be the cutest thing or it's going to be completely fucked up. I've been struggling this morning getting dressed. I like really don't know what I want to wear. Here we are. Here goes nothing. There's gotta be a good way to do this. Hold. I'm scared. Okay, wait. Still, I'm not feeling this. I don't, guys, I don't know what to wear. Okay, my car is here and I don't know what I'm wearing. Like this just is not giving. Okay guys, I pulled it together. This is what I'm thinking for today. This is way more casual than I've been dressing, but it's raining today, so I felt like this was cute. Um, and honestly, nothing else was really speaking to me, but I do really like this outfit. I feel like it adds variety. It's very different than the other outfits that I've been wearing, so yeah okay guys we are off heading to the match tommy is first on okay we are back and i have no idea what entrance this is okay tommy just finished his match it was like four hours it was a five set match he was down two sets and came back and then ended up not winning but it was a battle and i'm super proud of him for coming in with an injury he had an amazing tournament and yeah i'm just proud of him for putting up a good fight his um opponent played incredible hats off to him he had an amazing match he's a really really great young player you got it we're just back at the house now. Some strawberries. This not work. Probably gonna start packing. So Tommy and I are actually gonna head back to Florida because very exciting. He is closing on his house. Um, he finally found a house in Florida and I'm like so excited about it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna be living back and forth between Florida and Connecticut. And I think I'm gonna spend all the winter in Florida, but yeah, I'm really excited for that. So that's something to look forward to. Just probably gonna pack, wait for Tommy to get back from treatment. No, we're sad. No, I'm proud of you. I'm sad. It's okay. You put up a good fight. I did. You did. I thought it was over after the first two sets. Um, change of plans, guys. I said I was going to Florida with Tommy, and I'm not. Is that what you're saying? They're playing Crystal Palace Park at 8, and Zoe said it's very far. Do you want to go to Bye, vlog. Bye. That's all I get. What? That's all I get. What do you mean that's all you get? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You never showed me the clothes that you bought. You didn't ask for a haul. I want a haul. <laughs> 